just take one and they look awesome because they've taken this fantastic photograph and then you've got the valley sort of crisscrossing as it goes back with the mist in the background good morning good morning i know you can barely see me it's quite dark uh, we're on a bit of a walk this morning it's only about a mile should take me about 20 minutes half an hour to get there but i took the bike there yesterday testing out a new natino pro escute mountain bike just doing my first views on it i took it out yesterday and um, the views uh, were stunning there's some heather still out there's rock formations it's a place i've never been to before I've been in the area many, many, many times. I'm in Nicolangolan even, um, up on the viewpoint. But I went up to the rocks, up on the top of the cliffs, a different place than I've always been to. And it's amazing. So I know you can't see me, so let's get there. Wait for the sunrise and see what happens. And I'll speak to you then. It's a bit eerie at the moment because I'm walking up next to the woods and I don't like it. Oh, that was actually quite steep. Well, very steep really, to be honest. But I'm up on the top now. You can see I've got color in the sky behind me. Plenty of sheep around. Not sure what I want to shoot, apart from I know what I want to shoot, but I'm not sure of a composition or anything at the moment, because I was on the bike yesterday, so I wasn't really scouting for, you know, the the shots but there is one particular shot I do want but it might not work for sunrise it might be once the sun's come up a bit but let's just see if we can find some rocks some heather <laughs> lots of sheep around and uh, the sunlight coming up because clear outside told me there was going to be lots of high cloud and no low cloud and that's perfect for sunrise if you get a gap in the bottom now I know I always sound out of breath and I am out of breath but I'm not as out of breath as what I could be I do do a, I do have a bit of a workout I do um, I do be exercise bike and row machine so my body can handle it it's just well that's nice uh, it's just I breathe a lot <laughs> Okay, so we've got a long structure of rocks. I've got some heather in the bottom here. I've got a little tree sort of thing on the right hand side. I think this will do to hang around. Oh, okay, I'll see you when it starts happening. So it's all happening. It's definitely all happening. And you noticed I'm donning the old red coat. Makes a change, doesn't it? I can't step back because once again, I'm stood on the edge of the rocks. In fact, I'm not only on the edge of the rocks, if we can look down, let me see if I can look down and show you where I am. So I'm actually stood on the edge of this rock because I needed to get to as far to my right hand side as I possibly can. But can you see where my tripod is? It is actually off the edge of the rock. So consequently, if I knock the tripod, it's going over the edge and the edge is an edge but you can see the sky is firing up it's nice and colorful it really is giving me a bit of a light show this morning in fact the colors going off a little bit now this is not by any chance an easy place to get a good shot for sunrise yes I've got the perfect view all the way over to where the sun's rising yes I've got some heathers around yes I've got rocks around yes I've got this lovely leading edge it's almost like a mini Bamford edge or Stanage edge it's just this amazing I've got a castle behind me we've actually got some mist right over in the distance in the valley um, but I cannot get far enough to my right hand side to get I don't know to get the ridge line in or something I mean the drone might have been a good idea but hey ho I don't got time to do everything um, but yeah it's 
I'm glad I got up because I was a millionaire and I thought, is it going to be worth it? It's always worth it. If you get up, make the effort, it's worth it. Yeah, that's a beautiful bit of colour. Really nice to see the morning coming in. So anyway, this is where I am. Um, this is what I'm going to do this morning. I'm going to see if I can get another couple of compositions quickly while the light is still nice in the sky. So uh, yeah, enjoy these couple that I've taken. They're not great, but they're all right. Let's just see if I can get something else just before the, the light show's gone completely. So the sun's now definitely up I and mean, it's one of those beautiful mornings again where there's haze over in the background so I can see the sun, I can actually stare at the sun, I can look at the sun and watch it rise and it came up so gracefully again, so smoothly. Sometimes you get the sun, it feels like it's rushing up but it just came up really nice and slow and it's just balancing there in the sky with that pinky orange haze all around it. Now, like I say, composition wise, total struggle. Uh, too low behind the rocks really you've seen a couple of images I've managed to get some heather in it I'm sure I've cleaned them up in post uh, I've got a little tree in it I've got some rocks I've got color but I have no flow it's almost like foreground background there's no flow for the image now all right this one's got a bit more flow in it and now the sun's up it's you know it's casting a nice little bit of color across <coughs> excuse me but it's just not just not perfect really i'll tell you what probably would have been and i can still run over and get one is a wall but i think it's just a massive green that's a problem you've got this nice wall leading you down but you just got this massive green everywhere um i don't know i wonder if i could run over there i've done the best i can here i'll tell you what let's 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 do it let's do it let's do it i'll see you over that side I did change my composition at least I've got some side light on it um, again it's it's kind of taking you nowhere the heather's out the walls here it's just it's got all those elements but I just can't quite get myself in a position where I think wow that's cool wow that's amazing it's just oh, it's just sometimes it's less like that isn't it sometimes you just can't I mean that's quite nice you can't quite get yourself there now all right i'm losing the the sun in it a little bit but at least i've got a side nose wall and the walls sort of taking you through i've got a leading path there's a little bit of mist i suppose there's some steam going on in the background i don't quite know what it is and we've got pinks and heathers so you know hey all them nice little elements are there but it's just one of those mornings it's lucky that the sun's hanging around long enough <laughs> for me to mess around to be honest but yeah what a nice what a nice way to start the day with a a good rush of adrenaline and yeah that's not bad it's all right i'm st i'm still bracketing i've got a pretty camera in the middle of it oh just got it out of the way in time um just, yeah just nice i think because let's like, see i came up here yesterday with the um mountain bike um and I found out I wasn't supposed to be up here. I got talking to um, some like rangers and stuff. They were doing uh, fire checks on people, making sure they weren't lighting barbecues and stuff on the ground. And uh, they basically said, oh, I said I brought a bike up here. They said, oh, you're not really supposed to. It's not a bridal way. 
And I asked, I asked the rules, and the rules are you can only use bikes on bridleways, which is kind of obvious, I suppose. Um, not necessarily footpaths, and these are a bit small. I didn't quite enjoy the ride along here, so I'm going out on it later on. Um, but at least it gets you, you know, I got here in seconds yesterday with the bike. It was brilliant. So, yeah, if, you know, I, do, I, I know I talk about these bikes a lot, but they really do help you get out and about. So, what do I do now? The question is, what do I do now? You can see by my face, it's quite, quite a lot brighter now. I think that was quite a nice image, actually. You've got that, the wall leading you down from the right-hand side. I think that's quite nice. And this little bed of heather in front of me, which is pretty nice as well. So there's some colour, and then that orange is in the sky. And it's still, still nice to see. It's still nice to look at. So yeah, that's another one done. Right down in front of me is um, Klangolan Viaduct. It's a massive viaduct, 140 odd meters high, I think it is, or feet high. Um, not meters, is it feet? Um, massive, really, really cool. Uh, I did a video there once upon a time, many, many moons. Maybe if you Google on my channel, uh, Klangolan Viaduct or something like that, you'll probably find it. Um, if I can, I'll put a link up so you can see it. But now I'm waffling, really. Um, I think maybe let's, I don't know, I've got some nice little Christmas trees around, which are really cool and really pretty. So maybe, you know, some soft light on that tree looks quite nice with a heather tree and some pastely blue sky before it gets too bright. I'm out, why not? So knowing me as you do, if you're a regular viewer, I always get more than one photograph. I never seem to settle on one perfect image. I always run around and move around and try and make a better one and a better one and a better one, unless I find something that's absolutely spankingly good where I don't want to move. And I don't mind doing that, but I always come off as looking like a not very good photographer because I take so many photographs, whereas some people just take one and they look awesome because they've taken this fantastic photograph but have they taken lots of good photographs and only showed you the one that's the question um i like to look around i like to find things i mean just look at this place this place is awesome there's there's different things going on everywhere how can you just take one single photograph and be happy with just one you know there's loads going on so I do struggle that way. I very, really struggle to take just one image and call it a day. And I'm, I'm scouting now, I'm looking around now thinking, there's gotta be something else, I'm not done yet. I've just found another spot, which is pretty nice, right in front of me. So I'm gonna take a look at this one and see how this one works now. But I just enjoy being out, taking photos. So I take them. It's not about, me becoming the next landscape photographer of the year, even though that would be amazing. I mean, all right, I've been in the book. I was in one of the books once upon a time and that was a really big achievement. You know, not everyone gets to get in that landscape book. So uh, yeah, I was pleased with that. But I just like being out. I like being out, I like taking photographs and I enjoy the the process of doing it. I don't enjoy getting up sometimes, but I enjoy the process of taking photos. It's another one, rocks leading down. The viaduct is down in that bottom corner. Doesn't look like the mist is coming this direction, which is a shame. Right, I am gonna have to have a look in my bag, see if I've got any munchies in the, the vans. Literally, I'm only oh, a few hundred yards away from the van, but there's no chance I'm going down that way. <laughs> But I'm going back in a bit. I'm going to get a coffee, so let's have a look. If I find one more, I'll uh, take it and then uh, I'll say goodbye. You knew I'd find another one. What a lovely, beautiful little image this is. Long lens, 
put the 70 to 300 i'm out at like 140 odd mil and i'm looking back at clangollan castle you know i said there was a little bit of mist in the valley there is just a little bit lingering around right in the background and you've got the castle you've got this beautiful snaking little path going up and then you've got a little tiny white house over on the left hand side and on the right hand side there's a couple of tiny little houses to give you some scale and then you've got the valley sort of crisscrossing as it goes back with the mist in the background and i think that's really nice and because this light is so soft it's just giving it that nice soft morning just that nice dreamy sort of style I've put the castle right in the middle actually and it it looks really good and uh, this lens is is a fantastic lens for zooming in on things it's such it's got such a, a range on it um, it's brilliant f13 let's, let's just knock that down to f let's try f8 because I want to try and get this as sharp as I can <coughs> but I love the little sneaking path leading up and I'm sure if I zoom in I could probably find people on it as well so very pleased with that one and you notice I've taken the coat back off now as well a little bit chilly when I've got my bag on my back, but I'd rather be slightly cooler than too hot and sweaty if I can. But yeah, now I'm going to just spin round with this big one, see if I can get a little picture, maybe see if I can get the viaduct just so I can show you what it looks like and see if this, this changes down here in the foreground. I did take a couple of wider ones, which is where I noticed it. Um, I've got the rocks and everything leading in and this morning glow on the rocks which was quite nice as well. So I'm looking the opposite direction from the sun. And uh, yeah, a morning well done. So if you enjoyed these images and you enjoyed this little walk with me this morning, please give us that thumbs up. It really means a lot to me. And I know I spout on about this every single time I put a video out, but sharing, liking, and just dropping a comment. If you don't know what to say, just drop a comment and just put hi. That would be amazing. Just hi is more than enough for me to it helps the algorithms it knows that you're that youtube knows you're watching it knows you're interested and if you're sharing it just knows that the video is worth putting out and then youtube will actually put it out for me and publicize it more than what they would normally very nice right i'll see you next time ciao for now get out and shoot get out and shoot take a chance get up in the morning go for a walk see what happens